There are some people in life that you run across that you're just taken aback by looking at their positive attitude. And when you hear their story, you can't believe that they have the attitude that they have. And that's John. I mean, John is an upbeat, uh, nothing's wrong with the world guy. And he has been through hell as a kid. I found myself as a child on my back down the street in a hospital with burns on 100% of my body. 87% were third degree. I'm dying. But my mom walks into this room and the first thing she says to me, she takes my right hand and then she speaks these words. I love you. I love you. Powerful. She looks me in the eyes, my hand in hers, and she says to me, baby, do you want to die? Your choice, not mine. Love wins, man. It takes courage and boldness. But she walked in, she made me walk over to the cliff with her. She pointed down and she said, that's one way you can go, but you must choose if you want to go another. You can choose to go this way instead, John. And I looked at her and I said, Mama, I don't want to die. I want to live. So she says, you fight like you never fought before. It's amazing to me to learn today that the fire that almost took my life years and years ago ends up being the greatest gift in my life. It led to the truth that you can't always choose the path that you walk in life, but you can always choose the manner in which you walk it. The absolute best part of my presentation is taking the microphone off, walking out to the audience, and then hearing their story. It's hearing the challenges they face today, the challenges they've gone through in the past, where they are today, and how this story has equipped them to move forward boldly, knowing that their best days remain in front of them. I'd recommend John to speak in front of any organization because I think his message transcends the kind of business or what people are trying to accomplish. It's about living life uh, to the fullest and the best that you possibly can, and I think that's applicable in any setting. Uh, I saw him at a uh, conference I was at, and I was so moved by the experience and so inspired that I said, I've got to share this with my staff. Everything that we do in life is an investment of our time and our money, uh, those resources. And coming to John's event has been absolutely uh, a great investment that I know I'm going to get a return on that investment because it gives us a chance to come in and focus in on the most important things that we often get too busy in our day-to-day -day lives to do. So I would highly recommend uh, taking part in John's event. Phenomenal. When I came in, I thought, two hours after all day, how am I going to stay awake? And I can truly say from three into five, I was so engaged and wanting to truly understand that little boy and what he went through and what he's become. If you focus on the possibility and the beauty of tomorrow and how it starts today, watch out because it's on. If you're in a rut and need a little push, this next story might help. Heidi Glaus is here with a story about beating the odds. I think all of us have our stories of being burned and whether that's divorce or financial woes or health issues. We've all been there. John O'Leary says he's the one who's inspired by burn victims like Mary Ann Hicks. And is now kicking off the Spark 21 Day Challenge. We'll talk about that too. Thank you for coming in. Gary, blessed to be here. When somebody's introducing you, they say, John O'Leary, expected to die, now teaching others how to truly live. Mm -hmm. John O'Leary, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. McGraw, thrilled to be here. John O'Leary is the first author to sign on with Simon & Schuster's new multimedia platform-based division called North Star Way. Just because you are out of bed doesn't mean that you are fully awake. Just because you're at work doesn't mean you're fully productive. And just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you're fully alive in it. What we get to do, and what I'm lucky enough to do at conferences and events, is to wake people up to fully and vibrantly and effectively live every moment of every day they have. I'm John O'Leary. It's time to live, inspire, now.